Hi guys, I just now put up a video um, about uh, gender fluidity and um, what God has spoken to me um, about about that. And he, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. Um, it's called gender fluidity. Um, lies, love, and truth. Um, so watch it before you watch this video. Um, anyway, when I was going to my email, um, I was going to my email and, um, like, when I got in the email, I get the daily um, verses from Bible Gateway. Um, it's really easy to get one. Just go to Bible to get them. Uh, just go to BibleGateway.com and sign up um, on their website and you get verses every day um, from the Bible. They use they use the NIV, the New International Version of the Bible, and it's really good to get your day started and going. So today, um, in my email, um, I usually try and check it in the morning, but today, as God would have it, I was kind of bu I'm kind of busy on Sunday mornings, rushing around and getting ready for church so I didn't check my email this morning but I checked it now and read the verse for today and it it is so fitting um, for, to what I was talking about uh, the Lord said to read it to the people so I'm going to read today's verse uh, to the people. Um, to you guys. Um, it says, and this is from uh, Romans 8, 35 to 37. And it's the New International Version. It reads as thus. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Um, I said that to say, going back to my last video, nothing is going to separate, separate you from the love of Christ. And you can conquer this. You will conquer this. This is not a death sentence. If you are struggling with gender issues or gentle, gender identity, First, God wants you to know, like I said, that he loves you. Second, he wants you to know that you can conquer it. You don't, you don't have to live this way if you don't want to. If you're perfectly happy um, being gender fluid or being gay or bisexual or part of the LGBT community, that's fine. I love you still. God love you still. But if you are not, and you really feel inside of you that this is not for you, and this is a struggle, there is hope. There is help. And the Lord wanted me to tell you that. That you don't have to struggle alone. That you can conquer this. And you can come out of this. And, and if, if you choose to, it's a choice to 
Kanlı abi be. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I love you guys so much. Bye. I'll be praying for you. Think about his love, think about his goodness, think about his grace that brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. Think about His love. Think about His goodness. Think about His grace that brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from.
when nothing else could help love lifted me oh love lifted me love lifted me when nothing could help love lifted me oh yeah lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help love lifted His work can lift you out of any mess you're in, men, any, anything you're in. If you feel hopeless, his love can lift you. If you feel d down in the dumps, his love can lift, lift you. If you feel that you've screwed up beyond repair and people are telling you it's hopeless, it's not. His love can lift you. And when I say love, I don't mean the weak, oh, I love you. I don't mean the weak, oh, I don't mean the weak kind of love. I mean God's kind of love. God's kind of love is strong and life-changing and healing. And what he wants out of everyone is their lives. He wants everyone in the whole entire universe to give their lives to God. This is not a religious thing. This is a relationship with someone called Jesus Christ. And what I always say to people is if someone needed a plumber and I knew a plumber, I'd say, hey, here's this plumber. Um, Here's his number, here's his contact information. So I know that people need a savior. So here is a savior. His name is Jesus Christ and he's just waiting for you. I didn't mean to turn this into a sermon, but God had other plans. He just wants you to know, especially a part of the LGBT, LGBT community he wants you to know that he's not mad at you that he loves you he doesn't want to change you he wants to rearrange your life he wants to give you the kind of life that you were meant to have that he's meant you meant you to have you you believe that you're happy now but just wait until God really takes over your life um, <laughs> um it is just phenomenal stephen verdick says something quite amazing he says god can be invited in but be aware when when he's invited in he takes over and it's so and it's and it's indescribable how good it feels it feels better than anything you can ever imagine. Any partner you could be with, anybody. It feels better than any amount of money, any way you could dress. It just, it just, be, there's something so right about being in relationship with Jesus Christ. Not only knowing about him, but knowing him and the power of his resurrection and knowing that he died for you and knowing that he surrendered his life for yours. And I pray that this finds you in a place where you're willing to have him restore you, to have him rebuild your life. And we all need rebuilding. Anybody who says that they've got it all together and they don't need rebuilding, they're lying. <laughs> They're lying. We all have it somewhere. And we all need Jesus. 
So I just want to say I'm praying for you and I love you. Bye, guys.